I want to pull up a comment here uh, from Patterson. Patterson says, Tony Michaels, we may not agree on everything. And we won't. We won't. But we agree on a vast majority of things. And again, much respect for allowing on the show conversations and strong sentiments. It's the key to freedom. I want to be clear here. I believe in people's right to say stupid fucking shit. Dumb, stupid stuff. It's kind of the risk of freedom, if you think about it, right? Like, this is the risk of freedom and liberty. Y'all about to fuck up, y'all. And the reason why it's it's a risk to freedom and liberty is because, again, like I said before, once that, once that cat's out of the bag, you can't stuff it back in. It's like Project 2025, folks. We cannot stuff that fucking cat back in the bag. They have already let it out. It's American Nazism, Project 2025, and you haven't read through it. It's a long fucking piece of document, and we're going to we're gonna create content. I know Monty Librarian at the Library of Democracy. I know others here with the show and the community over on Discord are excited to do uh, content around Project 2025, excuse me, to expose it as American Nazism and what they want to turn us into a Nazi state. But you can't put that cat back in the bag. And that's that's the risk. That's really the risk that we run of freedom. That's the risk we run of liberty and rights. And I will stand and tell anyone. Anyone. You you can't you can't really you can't take away someone's right to speech. I mean, there's crimes, right? There's hate crimes, there's hate speech. And if you act on hate speech, then it's hate crimes, right? Once you act on a certain type of speech, that may be a crime. But we cannot, we cannot sacrifice the ability for people to have liberty to try to save it. We have to get our fucking heads right. That's what we have to do as a people, as humanity. We have to be humane. That's why I advocate for everyone. I don't give a fuck who you want to love. I don't care who you want to be, what, how you want to dress, what pronouns you want. I don't give a shit. You have the freedom and liberty. The same freedom and liberty that Nazis should have to go on to an overpass to support Ron DeSantis in Florida and howl Hitler. Because frankly, the left in this country, the left isn't all pro-democracy. That's the truth. That's the real raw truth. Not everyone on the left is in the pro-democracy coalition, folks. You think they're with us because they're an ally? They might be allies of the LGBTQ community. They might be with us on trans rights. They might be with us on human rights, women's rights to health care and their reproductive rights, women's right to privacy in the doctor's office. They might be there with us on that, but that doesn't mean they're for democracy. We need to get them there. We need to get them there. I believe Patterson here on Facebook is for democracy. I think there's a little bit of twisting that's done to justify Patterson's belief, but I don't tell them they can't have those beliefs. Shaz, same way. He's a fucking idiot. Whoosh. You talk about someone who fucking gulps up propaganda. Shaz and the Shart Army, because Shaz just the... I want to be clear. He's not. He, he's just the the spitting image of the Shard Army, if you follow me. And Shaz, you, you're such a fucking dummy. And it's the reason why I keep you around is because you're the spitting image of the Shard Army. And it's so easy because anything I say, I'm going to bait you into saying stupid shit, stupid fascist shit. Like when you defended a Nazi yesterday, Nick Fuentes, you defended a Nazi and you're like, yeah, he's the beacon of truth. Guess what? These videos over on TikTok where they're fucking defending the justification, the letters from bin Laden on t terrorist attacks, not just in this country, but other fucking countries and embassies, fucking battleships, <laughs> the USS Cole, <laughs> you motherfuckers. 
you're you're like Shaz. You're the shard army. You don't know it, but you're being taken advantage of by fascist propaganda. Not quite as overt as Shaz, but it's getting there. Oh, baby, it's getting there. It's getting there. The Arab world has convinced you that Israel is fucking, is Palestinians' oppressors. When it's the Arab world who has used them as a cudgel, who has kept them from their liberty and their freedom. And I don't know if you've looked at the rest of the Arab world and how much liberty and freedom they have in those countries. Why do you think it was so easy to start a war there? Several wars. And that continuing for 20 years. Because we're supposed to believe in that kind of shit. So Patterson, I appreciate you being here. And I know we agree probably on 90% of shit. And most people in the chat probably agree with me 90% of shit. And you know what? I'm sure people, <laughs> there's 90% of you today that are like, this is fucking good content. And 10% of you are like, shut the fuck up, would you? But you're still watching. This shit's important. We got to get our fucking heads right. We got shit to do. We got fascists to stomp out. We got fascists to crawl back, under, make them crawl back underneath their fucking rocks, folks. 